Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to explore using the Cloudmersive Virus Scan API in Power Automate to automatically check Outlook email attachments for viruses and malware. This API is equipped to check dozens of file types, including all major office formats, PDFs, and a variety of image files for virus and malware threats. To do this, it references a continuously updated list of more than 17 million virus and malware signatures. Let's start off on the flow diagram page with an automated cloud flow opened up. We can get here by clicking create on the Power Automate homepage and selecting the automated cloud flow option from there. We want this flow to trigger when a new email arrives in Outlook, so let's start off by searching for an Outlook trigger with exactly that phrasing. Below, let's select the Office 365 v3 iteration of this trigger. Since we're working within the Microsoft ecosystem, we should already have our regular inbox selected within this trigger step. If we want to target a different Outlook folder instead, we can just use the folder icon to find the one that we want. Our next step is to retrieve file attachments from Outlook emails as they arrive in our inbox. Let's click New Step and type Get Attachment into the search bar. Below, we can select the Outlook Get Attachment action when it comes up. To configure this action's request details, all we need to do is click on our mandatory fields and select corresponding dynamic content made available from our trigger step. We can enter the message ID into the first field, and in the second field, we can enter data labeled Attachments Attachment ID. Once we click on that option, Power Automate will automatically wrap our current action in an apply to each control because there could be multiple files attached in a single email. We can now incorporate the Cloudmersive virus scan action into our flow. Staying within the apply to each control, let's click add an action and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, let's go ahead and select the Cloudmersive virus scan connector with the dark blue-green logo from the list of options below. Just a quick note at this point, if we haven't used this connector before, we'll need to provide an API key to authorize our Cloudmersive API connection before we reach the actions list where I currently am. We can get a free tier API key with 800 API calls per month and no commitment by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website. From the Actions list, let's select the Scan a File for Viruses action. We just need form data to satisfy our input file field, and we can fulfill that by selecting Content Bytes from the Dynamic Content window. Our flow is now ready to trigger from receiving an email, get multiple file attachments from that email, and scan file attachment contents for virus and malware signatures. Let's now go ahead and save our flow. And then let's go ahead and initiate a test. Since we're testing an automated flow, Power Automate is just going to wait for a new email to arrive in our inbox. To trigger this, we just need to send ourselves an email with an attachment. So let's go ahead and do that. Because of restrictions in my environment, I'm going to test this flow with a clean Excel file. Depending on your specific situation, you can possibly use something like an iCar file to trigger this flow safely with a virus or malware signature. Once our flow finishes running, let's open up our Virus Scan API response body. I have a clean result response here that says yes which of course means that my file did not contain virus or malware signatures. If a threat was detected, this would say clean result no, as you might have guessed. We can use this response to take common sense actions against infected files. We can set up various conditions to delete emails, quarantine infected files, or move our flow in a variety of other directions. 
This works great as a redundant security measure to add into your workflow, and it can really help catch sneaky threats right in the nick of time. With that, we've reached the end of this video. Thanks for watching and check back in on our channel for more Power Automate tips and demonstrations in the near future.